Hey, how are you there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering of my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, see, folks, sampler platter for series series. I'm going to do for the while. We're going to try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff. I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that at the time I'm doing this, I've got blue on my hand. That's from work. Aside from having blue on my hand, I'm also in my truck today. Uh, if you watch my videos, you might know that typically if I'm in my truck, it means I was on my way to a place and I found a thing to review. It's kind of the case today, kind of not. Also ties in with the shirt that I'm wearing. Uh, I'm not going to do a reveal on this one. I just got through doing a review where I did a reveal. Typically, I try to wear cool shirts when I can. Sometimes they're just grody work shirts. I am wearing a work-esque shirt and I'm wearing a cool shirt, so it's a, it's a double. This is for the band Ginger, a Ukrainian metal band. Absolutely love them. Hopefully I'm going to be able to, excuse me, be going to see them uh, not too long from now, just a few weeks from the time I'm doing this review. Super excited. Uh, and on top of that, I'm wearing this shirt over it because I went over there. This is not a typical work shirt. It's not even really a work shirt, but this is like my formal wear because I had to go in and do some extra training stuff and I didn't want to be all super grody. But anyway, what with the shirts, multiple shirts, shirtception, what am I trying for y'all today, folks? Well, as I went over there mentioned in my previous review, uh, when I got out of said extra training meeting, it was around lunch, I decided to go over there and stop off at a spot that is brand new, literally just a few weeks old now, called Student Burger. I'd gone over there and I'd made my way around. Noticed some about a month ago, and I decided to keep my eye on them for when they actually opened up. Today was a perfect opportunity. In my previous review, I went over there and I reviewed one of their basic student burgers. Go watch that video. But they had a few extra, you know, specialty burgers on top of it. And one caught my eye. Because, folks, it combines two of my favorite foods. We got, boom, the Gyro student burger. Yes, indeed, folks, for all intents and purposes... This is a burger with gyro meat on it, or gyro meat. I know it's, you know, different pronunciations, and I, I, I grew, I grew up saying, I, at least I don't call it a gyro, okay? Give me gyro. Give me gyro. Uh, but anyway, I saw this, and I'm like, dude, that sounds fantastic. Now, I've had gyro meat on a burger. I've eaten a lot of burgers, folks. Let me tell you, more than any man should have and still be alive. Just putting that out there. So, when I saw their offerings, uh, this was definitely the one that stood out the most to me. So I was like, all right, I know I want to get a student burger because I want to see what kind of their base platform is. I also have to get a gyro burger. Also comes with fries, which I reviewed in the previous video. So if you're interested in finding out, I'm not going to review the fries again. Hopefully this is amazing. At the very least, it's got to be good. Like, I, I can't see it not at least being good. I'm going to try, try to not get stuff on my shirt. Oh, this is going to be a sloppy one. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Now, folks, that right there. I made mention of the fact that in my previous, my previous review, the uh, student burger is a classic American-style burger, and I mentioned that that was America. Folks, this is America right here. This is America. Again, unless you're a vegetarian or what have you. In which case, your version of America differs. Which is fine. But, you're over there. You've got a classic American style thing. You've got delicious gear. I mean, that's the great thing about America, folks, is that we can go over there. We can all, we can all bring something new and amazing to the collective whole. And then still be America at the end of the day. That's a great thing. That is what America is. It's gyro meat on a burger. Let's try it out, and hopefully it's delicious. Uh, this one was no pickles, no onions. Uh, it's still got the lettuce and tomato and cheese, so, and uh, sauce. Gyro meat's so good. It's, it's one of the best things in the world, folks. I, I love so many foods, clearly. But, man, there are certain ones that will just always be, like, 
I'm always going to love a bowl of ramen. Like, proper, real ramen. I'm always going to love a gyro. I don't, I don't care if it's not even that great of a gyro. I'm still going to like it. Just on principle. I like most burritos. Oh, no, of course it did. Might be okay. I don't even know if I'm going to wear the fancy, because I have to do more training uh, a couple days from now. This is pretty much going to be my outfit. But I might not even wear it, considering that most people just wore their work clothes. So, All right, now... This is a sloppy, meaty, delicious burger. I love, for one thing, look at all that. That's that's a beautiful thing, ladies and gentlemen, and assorted others. Not only you just get delicious gyro meat and all that stuff, but it just makes effectively one giant super patty. And it's so good. You, when you first bite into it, the burger stands out more than the gyro meat. But then, as you mull it around and the gyro spices start to really come to the forefront, that's when you really get hit with the gyro taste. And that's delicious. I, man, that's good. And it's just so meaty. Like, take that out of context if you want. I don't even give a damn. That's the thing. Now, folks, some folks don't like big, meaty burgers. That's just the thing. You know, prefer the smaller, smash style burgers. And it's perfectly fine. I'm not here to go over there and crap on anybody's burger choices. For me, I love a burger that is actively difficult to wield, okay? I want to go over there. If I'm if I'm going to go over there and equate it to weapons, okay, like medieval-style weapons, I want to pick up a claymore of a burger. I want it to be obnoxious and hard for me to go over there and handle. That's what I want. And this, this kind of fits that. Now, it's, it's cheating a little bit because it's not, you know, like full-on stack burger. It's obviously got the, the gyro on top of it. But it's filling basically the same role for me. I like this a lot. I, I love... When you get a little bit of the... I don't know if it's like straight tzatziki sauce or if it's... Because I think they just call it student sauce. But it definitely feels like there's... Like it's either... Either there is tzatziki sauce in here, which there should be if it's a gyro burger. Or the student sauce is inspired by the tzatziki sauce. Because you definitely get a similar zing. I have nothing bad to say about this burger. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. It does exactly what it says in the name. It's a big meaty, generous burger that works perfectly for a guy like me. In fact, for all intents and purposes, like, I, I went over there, I was going to get two burgers because I wanted to go over there and do the two reviews. But it's nice to know, because sometimes I'll go to a burger spot that, you know, I haven't attended before. I'll get, like, a classic burger from them. And while it might be good, or in some cases sadly bad, uh, it might be a little bit underwhelming. In both cases with these... These are perfectly filling burgers. This one especially, though. This one, I could go over there, have just this with just the fries and a drink, and I would be perfectly satisfied. It's really good. Uh, now, that said, is it going to be for everybody? No, like I said, if you don't want a cumbersome burger, it is what it is. Um, now, is it the best burger I've ever had with gyro meat on it? The answer is No. I can't think of specifically, I know there's a place called Kuma's Corner, and yeah, they're they're a little bit controversial with some of the stuff with their ownership and everything. It is what it is, I'm not weighing in one way or another on that. Um, but I've been there 
any number of times over the years. And I know at one point in time I had like a Greek inspired burger. And one of the things that they had on it uh, was gyro and saw or was gyro meat. That was exceptionally good. I really liked it. This isn't quite as good as that, but I wasn't expecting it to be, nor is it exactly what I was looking for. I didn't want like a super specialty burger. I just wanted something meaty that I could go over there and bite into and love and enjoy. That's exactly what this does. That said, does the Gyro Burger from Student Burger get my patented Brandon Wenzel seal of approval? Well, yes, it does, folks, clearly. I think that if you were somebody who was going into a Gyro type, or not, if you're going into a burger type situation, and mind you, let me, let me emphasize just briefly, Student Burger has a very nice size menu. In fact, personally, and I brought this up in my previous one, my one little critique, I'd like to see more burgers. Maybe, maybe cut out a few things, a few more specialty burgers, because I, I always love a specialty burger. This, for me, I haven't had all their burgers, obviously. I've just had this one. I think this, for me, would be my favorite burger from their spot, because it's not something I can get every place. I can get a double burger from pretty much any place. I can get, like, a you know bacon burger from pretty much any place. Not saying those aren't great standbys, but this is something where... There's not too many places, like standard burger places, where I could go over there and stop in and get this. This is an item that I would come back here for. And it's an item that I would recommend if you stop in, you like burgers and you like gyros, absolutely give it a shot. Now, unless you got a crazy hunger, I'd say just get this and get the fries. But, like I said, they have a great menu. Check it out. So far, I've got one more item to review after this. So far, I've liked everything I've had from them. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year. And, folks, if you could go over there and have yourselves a true gyro burger tastic rest of your life. Because, like I said at the beginning, folks, that's, that's the essence of America. Where we go over there and we take these different cultural things and we bring them together. Some might say we bastardize them. I say, damn it, that's freedom right there. Yeah. Final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity to your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Not the easiest thing to do in the world. Sometimes it's the most difficult thing to do in the world. All depends on what you're dealing with. But that's a key thing to take into account, folks. When you're in a situation, you're over there and you're getting ready to be an asshole about something, take into consideration the other people. Try to be empathetic to your fellow human beings. And maybe, just maybe if you can... Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. Not always going to succeed. Try to avoid the big stuff whenever possible. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go on and do. Maybe you're going to go over there, folks. Maybe you've got a great idea for a fantastic cultural burger where you're just like, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to come up with a... Try to think of a, a burger type that I... A pho burger, okay? Pho, if you're not familiar, it's a Vietnamese soup with uh, rice noodles. Well, is it noodles or is it a soup? Because I've heard it referred to both. Some places consider it a noodle dish. Some people consider it a soup dish. I, I lean more towards soup, but it's got noodles in it. Maybe you're going to go over there and come up with a pho burger. And if you do, let me goddamn know. I'd love to try one. That sounds amazing. Uh, conversely, you could go over there and just, you know, go over there and uh, Maybe there's a pho place near you. Maybe there's other local eateries in your, you know, your immediate location. Maybe you want to go over there and start up your own. Those are options available to you. And the great thing is, goes over there, helps support the cultural landscape that you live in. Maybe even add into it. All right, folks. Bye.